So you like breaking glass in Minecraft. Well, at least you like breaking this fancy glass on Hypixel Skyblock. Or if you want to get technical, you want to start or you're already ruby mining. Which is a good idea because ruby mining is one of the most consistent and lucrative money making methods in all of Hypixel Skyblock, with the top ruby miners making roughly 40 million coins per hour. Now, you might think it's because of their maxed out gear, and don't get me wrong, the majority of it is, but there are a few other things I wish I knew when I first started that make a huge difference. How huge you might ask? Well these tips help me go from making 24 million coins per hour to just under 30 million coins per hour without upgrading my gear. Now, it's important to note that these tips may seem obvious to a more experienced miner, but for the last week or so, I've seen countless people in the same gear I use making half the money because they consistently make these mistakes. The first mistake is making your route tunnels too narrow. Routing rubies is tedious work, so you might want to save yourself the hassle and just make a tunnel straight from one gemstone to the next, but narrow tunnels are hard to navigate through and often limit your ability to teleport due to a mildly annoying game design. So I recommend you make the tunnels either much larger or you use a quick routing method involving bob -ombs to open up a large space that allows you to quickly travel between gemstones. But if you do use the bob -ombs, make sure that there are no gemstone blocks or panes within the blast radius, as bob -ombs prevent exploded gemstones from respawning. This gets us to our next mistake. Stop running between gemstones. Every second you spend running between gemstones is a second of lost mining. And after an hour of mining, the seconds add up, resulting in the loss of millions of coins. Instead, build small platforms made of cobblestone that you can teleport to, with an aspect of the void, or an aspect of the end if you're poor- <clears throat> Sorry, poverty stricken. A few minor things include how to maximize the overall money you gain out of your time. First off, you should use a personal compactor rather than a gemstone sack to automatically craft the rough gemstones into fine gemstones. This makes selling that gemstones to an NPC much easier and quicker. If you do want to use the sacks because it prevents your inventory from getting messy, you can. But know that every time you fill the sack and sell to Bazaar, you are losing millions of coins. Next, make sure you use your mining ability on Topaz as fine and flawless Topaz gemstones can be sold at the Bazaar for a much higher price than at the NPC. Lastly, make sure you have enough powder. Not the fun white powder, but mithril and gemstone. While powder grinding is arguably one of the most boring things to do, investing some time to do it can greatly increase the amount of money you make. For example, 1 million of each powder allows you to make roughly 10 million coins per hour, while 4 million of each allows you to make close to 30 million coins per hour, with a similar setup to my own that is. To summarize, make sure you clear a wide open route, teleport to each vein of gemstones, and get more powder. All of these alterations can really change the game when it comes to ruby mining. With that said, if you enjoy watching my content, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.